how to install a load-bearing bay window. In my early days as a window fitter, I did not have much experience with load-bearing bay windows, and I remember measuring a load-bearing window in Stockport when I first started my company. Before the installation, I searched Google and YouTube for videos about how to install bay windows, but I did not find any that provided reassurance about the process. I was fortunate to know another experienced installer who assisted me on the first few installations until I gained confidence. Usually you remove the side frames like so and position the acro props and strong boys here before taking out the front frame and poles. But on the install, there was already slots cut out of the timber at the front, which would provide room for the strong boys without interfering with the frames. As I can now see the slots, I need to re-support the weight above before I can position the strong boys in the slots. If you are in a similar situation to me when I first started out, I recommend taking four acros and four strong boys so you can ensure no mishaps occur. You can also ask an experienced installer for help until you get the confidence you need, even if it costs you a few quid as it isn't a job for learning on. The acros need to be wound up tight, but not so tight that they disturb the brickwork above. This old window sill was never packed correctly. The mullion had pushed the transom up and it had all bent. When you install bay windows, it's imperative to have them level, so ensure you level the sill properly. This will ensure that the mullions and transoms look straight when you look at the window. Also, if the window isn't level, it won't reach the poles properly and will come up off the sill. I would also recommend using a clamp to clamp the frame to the poles while fixing. Do not foam down the sill where the bay support jacks will be, as the bay support jacks will not move freely if the sill is foamed down there. That's what I did, then Jack had to remove the foam, and that's what he's doing now. Under the mullions where the weight lies, the sill is packed correctly. When measuring bay windows, ensure you measure the front edge gap circled in black, as it is usually smaller than the side closest to the wall circled in orange. I would also order additional knock-ons for the frames as a precaution, so you have them if required. The hole saw is now being used to drill a circle in the sill to accommodate the bay jack. Put a bead of silicone on top of the sill to prevent drafts and water from passing through. As you can see, the pole and sill are level, so when we lift the window in, it fits nicely and we don't have to force it. This is the bay jack circled and I am currently winding the other side up to begin taking the weight of the structure above. If you fix the window to the poles before winding up the bay jack, the window will move with the poles when the jack is wound up. Then foam it up and finish it off. For that authentic look, we use black coverboard on the head of the window to match the black bay sill. Again, GM Windows and Doors delivers a perfect installation. Don't forget to subscribe and let us know your experience with load-bearing bay windows in the comments. Have you any horror stories?